Hello and welcome to Driving with Todd and I'm Todd. So we're going to go again in a little bit different direction than what I normally go. Um, so this is going to be 1967 and it's not psychedelic music. My brother, who's older than I am, as I mentioned many, 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 many times, uh, brought home a single. Now he was big into things that I wasn't. He loved country music. He loved soul music. So here he brought home a single by Merle Haggard and the Strangers, and it was called Brandon Man. And he put it on, and I was like, that's country music. I mean, where does that fit into the real world? But, but what, what was cool about it, it is called Brandon Man. And I had been a big fan of the TV show with Chuck Connors called Branded, where he played the part of a, uh, a cavalry soldier who was kicked out of the army, and then he was trying to uh, renew his name and, and clear his name of the crime that they claimed he did. And I, I just love the show, watch it every week. So this single kind of like, you know, turned me on because it was called Brandon Man, and it related me to that show. So um, I would listen to it over and over and over again, and by listening to it, this many times, um, I really started to enjoy the song and, and didn't think so much of it as country, but as just another uh, rock and roll song. And it's a great story. Uh, you know, it's about a man who uh, goes to prison and he gets out and he's like branded. It's hard for him to uh, be accepted by society because of his crime that he did, which again related me back to the TV show Branded. So with that said, let's listen to Branded Man by Merle Haggard. Now this is the, the single sleeve uh, for the 45 Branded Man. I do have the uh, uh, original album. Uh, I bought it at a thrift store and I mean it's like mint condition and uh, the whole album is actually pretty good. But again, uh, as I've gotten older, I've accepted a lot more genres than when I was like 10 and 11 years old. So with that said, let's go and listen to Branded Man. Take it away, Merle Haggard. <laughs> I'd like to hold my head up And be proud of who I am But they won't let my secret go untold I paid the debt I owed them But they're still not satisfied Now I'm a branded man out in the cold When they let me out of prison I held my head up high Determined I would rise above the shame But no matter where I travel The black mark follows me I'm branded with a number on my name I'd like to hold my head up and be proud of who I am, but they won't let my secret go untold. I paid the debt I owed them, but they're still not satisfied. Now I'm a branded man, not in the cold. If I live to be a hundred, I guess I'll never clear my name. Cause everybody knows I've been in jail. No matter where I'm living, I got to tell them where I've been. Or they'll send me back to prison if I fail. I'd like to hold my head up Be proud of who I am But 
That is a dynamite song. Um, I got to thank my brother for opening my eyes to a lot of different genres of music at a very young age uh, because I was so focused on rock and roll, uh, British Invasion especially, psychedelic music, and then hard rock. So, I mean, him bringing home soul, uh, soul records and, and country records really opened up my eyes to a whole different era era or not era but type of of music so i really like this branded man um like i said i i found the album a couple of years ago at a thrift shop i i i had to have it cleaned it up put it on and it's like wow that's really really cool and what's interesting is all of the people that they showed um with their being arrested uh, i think one was jerry lee lewis um then uh, Johnny Cash was in there, and I don't know who all the other ones were. It'd be interesting if they would have put the names on, on each one. That'd been kind of cool. Uh, but it's a great video, too. Whoever put this video together did a very nice job of putting the video together as well. And what's interesting about this, I, uh, I've mentioned this before. I played some Struggle Jennings, and then another person who I'm really big into right now is Adam Calhoun. And both those guys were in prison, too. It seems like if you want to do country music... You've got to be in prison so that you can come out and tell your story in a song and and change up a little bit, but continue to tell that story. And hopefully others will listen to your story and go, I don't think I'm going to get in trouble. I'm not going to go to jail. That's That doesn't sound like a fun, fun time. So this was it. Mer Merle Haggard, Brandon Man. Thanks, Rob, for bringing this to my attention in 1967. And I hope everyone that watched this enjoyed it. If you did enjoy it and you you know maybe you are a Merle Haggard fan out there um press the like button below I I really appreciate that and if you have not done so yet subscribe to my channel because I play some awesome music remember Todd awesome music and with that um if you have any comments on Brandon Mann or Merle Haggard put them in the comments below and uh you guys have yourself a great day remember always smile 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 because that makes the world go round. With that, peace out, baby.